Hey guys, unfortunately it's me again and Topaz has released its new update of Topaz Labs, Topaz Video AI number six in this case. And it's boasting a couple of interesting features and after being critical about the software and its use cases for a long time now, I've actually had the chance to use it in a, a client work, in a professional environment. And I have to say that I was uh, quite excited about using it and the outcome is actually pretty solid. However, I did have problems finding good materials online about it and experiences about the, the software and it does have a hefty price tag. So I thought I'm going to give you guys a tour about Topaz Video AI and what it can do because obviously the website is going to promise you the world and we want to know what it can actually do. So I have a couple of test footage prepared here in the, in, in the back end that I think uh, gives you a picture of what you could use the software for. There's a specific use case uh, about using it in animation, which I'm going to make a separate video about it. But these are examples of where I would use something like Topaz Video AI. So we have a clip that we want to make super slow motion, a clip that we want to interpolate to 60 frames per second, which is very busy. Then we have something that we want to stabilize. And in the end, I'm just going to see how can we super slow-mo footage that was not recorded in already 100 FPS, because this one is just 25 FPS. And the other one is recorded in 100 FPS. So we're going to start with super slow motion for an already slow mode shot. This video right here, of me doing a, a muscle up is already recorded in 100 frames per second. So we can actually duplicate this one, interpolate footage, make it 25 frames a second. And we can see we already have a fourth of the speed, which is slowed down by four times and we still have native 25 frames a second. So this is already pretty impressive. However, Topaz Video Labs can do so much better. So I'm going to take this footage, I'm going to Give it a little bit of zazz too. And now I'm just going to export it. All right, export is done. So let's bring out Topaz Video AI 6 and browse videos. I'm just gonna drag and drop this video in here and we can see it's just a 45 second clip of me doing uh, a muscle up. You can see that this interface is maybe not the most intuitive way to design interface. However, you can go to presets and let's just say eight times super slow motion. There is a lot you can do. Uh, Apollo, Apollo fast, uh, Aeon, HQ 16 times super slow motion. There's a lot of presets you can you can do. You can find all about those presets on their website, docs.topaslabs.com. And there is a lot to take into consideration. So yes, it is a one click done solution. However, there is a lot you can do by just reading a little bit more of documentation. But I'm just gonna use the presets. We do not care uh, about anything else. We just wanna make it slow-mo. And it's the only thing we wanna do. Maybe some motion deep blur if there is, but let's just say we just want this footage as it's coming out. So quick export, exporting queue has already started and let's see how long it will take. Okay, so it took eight, almost nine minutes, let's be, let's be honest. But we have the video here and we can bring it back into Premiere Pro. This is still my 25 frames per second timeline. And let's see, we can already see that the super slow motion has already worked. So let's see how slow it really is. Rather slow. <laughs> <laughs> let's get let's get into a little bit more motion. Okay, we have a bit more explosive motion over here and play. Let's go really into the details over here. I can play it at full resolution. Maybe that makes it look a little bit better. So I would say this is great. Like there's not a lot of fringing. There's not a lot of warping going on. Ooh, there we have a good example. What do the fingers do? We, have, we do see a little bit of motion blur, but I think in, in general, that's fine. Let's just see how, it, how this compares to the real footage. This is already slowed down four times, which is what the camera is capable of. And we have our slowdown over here. Still 4K, by the way, still a 4K footage. So I think the super slow motion is actually quite impressive. It's actually quite impressive. Let's see 
what would happen if we have just a normal clip over here of a, a rally event that I was a couple of weeks ago and we have this 25 frames a second clip and for whatever reason a client says hey can you do that but in in 60 seconds we have a cut in here as well there's a little cut it will have problems with the cut I can already tell you but let's just export this topaz footage It'll open up a new project let's just drag and drop it in here we have a new clip in here so this is our rally clip and now presets we just say convert it to 60 frames a second that's all we want to do. That's all we want to do. Again, we have a lot of uh, a lot of possibilities here over on, on, on the side, which AI model you want to use. It's giving you the best options of what it thinks you should use. But again, trust me on this one, there are differences between those frame interpolation mode, especially if we're working with digital video or like restoration footage. Read that. Like it's, it is going to be uh, important. But again, we're gonna treat this as a one-click solution. So this is what we're going to do, quick export, and it's already exporting. So this is just a couple of seconds long. By the way, I'm running a 4090. Um, so these are the times with the 4090 and I can always hear like my, my GPU spinning up like crazy. So it's actually using all it has for this model to run. Let's just wait those 50 seconds and see the results. All right. So we have our rally clip over, over here. So these are just 25 frames per second. It looks like 25 frames per second. I have no idea what, uh, what, what we are expecting here. So it does have troubles with the snow. The movement is smoother, I can already tell, but like the snow is killing it. You can see a little bit of warping over, over here. And let's see what the, what the cuts does. Okay, it does have problems with the snow. However, the 60 frames per second is really, really apparent. I think it's working wonders, not gonna lie. I think it's doing really well. So this is also like the worst video to compress and show on YouTube. <laughs> so we, we really stress tested this, this system. And if we would have read more into, into the documentation, I can promise you there are modes for high moving objects as as well apollo apollo fast and all of these sec all of these things that we could have that we could have used but we didn't use because right now in this video we are using topaz ai as a one click solution however there is still this clip of me on my other channel doing some workout stuff of me just doing a little bit of balancing uh, balancing exercises so i'm going to convert this into 60 FPS as well, post city workout. Give it some motion deep blur this time. Let's say presets convert to 60 frames a second, motion deep blur as, as well. I'm not gonna use all of those other settings. Again, one click solution here and just a quick export. Let's see how it's doing. Okay, 50 seconds and we are good to go. Just for comparison, this is the 25 frames per second video that we, that we put in. And now we're going to drop in the same video, but in 60 frames a second. It is noticeably, noticeably smooth. There's even in those high action areas with motion smoothing applied, you can see that there are some artifacts, but in motion, I can tell you, it looks actually quite, quite good. Let's focus again. I think the 60, 60 frames a second conversion worked really great. go back to, let's go back to the 25 seconds you can see that even here we have way more motion blur on the on the feet than we have in a 60 frames a second conversion this is really impressive this is actually really impressive moving on moving on to super slow mo 425 frames a second videos so we have exported this post city workout video in 25 frames a second Let's drop that back in. I think this should still be the original video, 25 frames per second is original motion deeper and now preset super slow motion eight times super slow motion. So now we are converting a video that has 25 frames a second and slowing it down by eight times. This is already stressing the system as well. So let's just see motion deep blur is going to be attached to this one quick export and let's just hope that this one is going as smooth as the 60 fps equivalent you can see this does not take a long time 59 seconds for the video 
Let's drop that into our 25 frames per second timeline and see this in super slow motion. Again, this footage was not meant to be slow mode. We just recorded it in 25 frames a second. This is the ori original footage. And if we, sl we slow-mo it in Premiere, speed, this is how four times look in Premiere Pro. And now this is how eight times slow-mo looks by using Topaz AI. So this is really impressive in my opinion. This is really impressive. We still have one more test to go and this is stabilization. I have a clip of a vi music video of an artist that I shot. Link should appear right now. Check her out, amazing. Um, but I've handheld this camera and I might as well have Parkinson's. You can see there's shaking going on all over the place. If we apply some basic warp stabilization to this one, we can see that we've now cropped in a little bit and that it does a great job, but we do lose um, a lot of the frame around the subject and also this warping in the background is becoming very apparent. So let's just see what, let's delete the warp stabilizer, warp stabilizer. Let's just see what Topaz AI can do with this footage. Just say stabilization, method, full frame, yes. And that's all we're going to do. I don't want to do anything else, just, just stabilize. I have to say that right now, I am not impressed on the time it takes. Like four minutes is a lot. Okay, I have to say this took a lot longer than I expected. So I am actually curious to see if the wait was worth it. So let's drop the footage in here and see how the stabilization turned out. So far so good, there's still some jittering there. I only turned it to 50%, however, the crop is not as significant, but in those heavy stutters, it's still very apparent, not gonna lie. It is better than before. It's very much, very much better than before. I'm not quite impressed, to be honest. So maybe this is not something that should be on your priority list when getting Topaz Video AI, and maybe it's not even what this is meant for. We have seen other clips in here that are really impressive. It's from, from the slow motion to all of the frame interpolation stuff to actually also enhancing your clips going from 1080p to 4K. This is everything Topaz Video AI can do. So I love using this, this product. I really do. I've used it many times and especially for animation, this could be a real time step. So I've been hinting to this workflow quite often in this video right now. So I'm going to drop a video as well on how to implement this frame interpolation for your animation project. Thank you very much for staying tuned and for stepping by. I hope that this gave you an insight on Topaz Video AI 6 and maybe justifying the steep price of like 300 bucks in here. Uh, it is a lot, it is a lot. This is oftentimes on sale, so I didn't get it for like 300. I thought, I, I think I bought it on a discounted price when they had like a, a yearly sale or an end of year sale. So maybe you should wait out for li just a little bit or if you can use it right away. It's definitely worth the price, but you know better than me. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.